Hello people, I am Devasis and you are watching my new video. In this video, I will be discussing about the higher studies opportunity in Cognizant. This is a legit question that comes into everyone's mind who ever joined any company or Cognizant. Because we generally complete our bachelors like B.Tech and jumps into a company to work. And there is a question that keeps on revolving in our mind that whether we will get chance to complete our master degree while staying in the company while working for the company. In this video, I will talk about this topic only but strictly for the cognizant company. So let's start the video without much delay. So yes guys, cognizant does provide these higher study opportunities for their associates. So this is a really great news for everyone who wants to join cognizant or who are in the cognizant. This program of Cognizant is known as Cognizant Integrated Higher Education Program that is CIHEP and through this program Cognizant encourages its associates to enroll themselves to continue or to pursue their master degree that is MTech. Let's talk about the institution now. So Cognizant has collaborated with India's three most premium institution those are IIT Jodhpur Bits Pilani and Bits Mesra. Yes, this is for now. In near future also, Cognizant surely gonna collaborate with more colleges and institutions. So this is a great news for all of us. And one more great news is there are lots of specialization domain which we can pick for our MTech. Now I am showing you the courses those are provided by IIT Jodhpur. Bits Mesra and Bits Pilani. So these are the courses that is like MTech in AR and VR, MTech in Robotics, MTech in Data Science, Cyber Physical Systems, Software Engineering in Data Science. So these are the courses that you can have or you can enroll in. So these are provided by IIT Jodhpur, Bits Mesra and Bits Pilani. So choose the institution, choose the specialization that you want to enroll yourself according to you so it is completely on you which institution and which specialization domain that you are choosing the one thing to keep in mind that there are limited number of seats so if you want to enroll yourself then do it as soon as possible now we have seen that we have different colleges institution and varieties of specialization domain to pick to complete our mtech now we will see that how to enroll in this program. If you are a Cognizant associate and you want to enroll in, in this program, then you have to go to the Be Cognizant portal. There you can find a link to register yourself. And once you complete the registration, you will get a mail after some day in which you can have lots of information about the further steps. So you have to go to Be Cognizant portal, there you can find a link and register yourself as soon as possible and if you want to have the direct link for the registration then you can also contact me in telegram app i will share you the link i'm not sharing the link in publicly in youtube description due to some privacy reason if you want to have the link for that page directly from me you can contact me in telegram and i will share with you keep in mind that the last date to apply for this program is 30th june that is end of this month so if you want to enroll yourself do it as soon as possible because hardly you are left with 10 20 days and yeah if you miss this opportunity you can register yourself in the next year but i think that you shouldn't miss this opportunity at all now i will tell you the eligibility criteria for this program so we are going to complete our MTech through this opportunity. So there must be an eligibility criteria for this. And yes, we do have. The basic eligibility criteria is to have at least 6 GPA throughout all your academics. And this is a easy one. But for specific courses and in specific institution, you are going to see different different eligibility criteria for that. And if you want to know the specific eligibility criteria in different different courses in different institution then you have to visit be cognizant portal because there are lots of eligibility criteria minute criteria to complete so you can visit there 
I can have the proper information about the eligibility criteria. Now we will see that what are the documents we will need for this program. So once you register yourself for this program, you will receive an email after some days. And in that email, you can have lots of information about the further steps. So in that mail, you can clearly see they will mention the documents you will need for this process. You will generally require the mark sheet and certificate for your 10th, 12th and your BTEC. And you would also need your date of birth certificate like your birth certificate and your Aadhaar card and PIN card. So these are the documents you will need for this program. Now guys you will see how to balance your office work and your education. Trust me guys this is a great question that is why I have added this in this video and I will also give you the answer because we have to work for our company and we have our personal life also and on the top of that now we have to study for ourselves also. So this is not going to be easy but trust me this is not going to be that tough that we will fail for you. No. We can do it so we have to make some strategies for it and we have to stick on that. So in this manner only we can complete our master degree without any hassle. So the information that I want to give you that all the classes is going to be conducted uh, in online mode only and it will be conducted in weekends only that is Saturday and Sunday. But keep in mind that all your classes is going to be online only and in weekends. But there may be some classes, there, there may be some tasks you can find which can be done only in physical mode. So for that they can call you to come their physical premises. But for that they will let you know before weeks so that you can plan and take leave for that. Now guys I will share with you the fee structure for different institutions and I will also tell you whether Cognizant will give you any financial support or not. So I am showing you the fee structure for different institutions but keep in mind that this is a general fee structure. The actual one can be varied but this is the one you can expect generally. So you can find out the fee structure for IIT Jodhpur, Bit Mesra and Bits Pilani. So friends, all your fee is going to be paid by you only. Cognizant won't help you in that. But Cognizant will give you only 50,000 rupees for your final semester only. And that is going to be reimbursed. That doesn't mean that Cognizant is going to pay for you in upfront. No. You have to pay completely by yourself and once you complete your MTech, just show the receipt to Cognizant. They will give you 50,000 rupees up to 50,000 rupees for your final semester only. That means if your final semester fee is a 70k rupees, then Cognizant will give you up to 50k rupees for your final semester and the rest 20k rupees is given by you only. And keep in mind that this 50k amount is going to be reimbursed. This is not going to be paid upfront by Cognizant. Now let's talk about some advantages of this program. So the first one is you will be getting certificate for your MTEC from a big institutes like IIT and BITS. So getting your MTEC done from IIT is not a small thing. So this opportunity you are getting from Cognizant. So this is a really a great advantage. The so second advantage is uh, this program is going to be an online one. Yeah, I know that there are some classes or some uh, tasks is going to be conducted in physical mode maybe. But that is negligible, trust me. So this program is going to be completely online you can say. So yeah, your time is going to be saved a lot. And it is going to be hassle free also. So the third advantage is you are not wasting your time separately for this. Like I can say you are not giving your separate time for your education because you are earning when you are studying. You will be earning from Cognizant and the parallelly you will study for yourself. So you just completing your MTEC and earning from Cognizant. Yeah, so this is a great thing that you are not giving separate time for this. So that's it for today's video. 
I know that I'm coming from a long break because I was having some interviews and exam and that is why I was little late. But I believe that this video is helpful for you and I promise that I will make more videos on Timely. So if you love my videos and love my channel then do drop a like, do drop comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.